Okay, this time I didn't crash, so that makes me pretty content. <sighs> what do I even have for missions up here now? If I look at the map, let's see. We still have... To confront Seraph in my apartment. Oh, that sounds like fun. Okay, yeah, why not? Let's go confront Seraph in my apartment and be like, Yo! Why in the hell did all this happen? Also, I should turn some of these things off. I wish there was an option... I, mean, I, I, I was saying it before, I don't know if I fully said it, because sometimes I fucking cut myself off or shit happens. But it's weird that you can't turn off the reticle for first person. Because it should definitely be there for third person, because you can't really fully see where you're aiming in third person. You can see the general direction, but you're not like looking down your sight, so that's a little bit silly. Uh, I'm gonna turn off pickup outline as well. And I can also turn off the objective marker, just so I don't have it constantly pointing at me, but I think we'll leave that on for now. Although, I don't know. Having that off makes things slightly more immersive. I still have my mini map if I want to go in a direction and still have. Uh, an idea of where I'm going, so that works out for us. But I don't have my screen completely cutter cluttered to the brim with just like, Oh, go there, and there, and there! And for the pickup outline thing, I can always use my vision thing, which I want to upgrade eventually to max out so that way I don't have to sit there having it constantly drain. In fact, I might upgrade it right now, so that way it has low energy consumption. Although that seems to look like a little bit of a waste. I I'm fine with energy being wasted. Alright. Uh, remote. Here we go. Adam, what's going on? Didn't expect to hear from you. I didn't expect my doctor to find dormant augs hidden in my system. What? Dormant experimental augs. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Adam, you know the decisions I made for you two years ago. Yes or no? No! All the work we did on you was above board. You have my word on that. What, uh, what exactly did you find? Experimental test dogs spliced into my system. Kohler said something about a neodymium shell. Who would have designed something like that? My god, you've got a Titan dog? It's impossible. It was just a concept. You just said this wasn't you. It wasn't. The DoD showed me schematics three years ago and asked me if I thought it could work. It was designed by somebody else, Vadim Orlov. Megan and I interviewed him once, but he wouldn't have fit in. Orlov? Sounds Russian. Who is he? Why wouldn't he have fit in? He was supposed to be a boy wonder, a neuroscience prodigy. He got his master's degree in Moscow, post-grad in the U.S. His grades were off the chart, but his theories were uh, sketchy at the times. Megan said his ethics were questionable. Megan? Megan Reed said that? The woman who gave you my DNA to experiment with? We didn't hire him, Adam. Two minutes into the interview and I could tell Orloff didn't like his ideas being challenged by anyone. Least of all, a strong woman like your ex. <laughs> at least he acknowledges <laughs> what kind of personality she had. These schematics you saw. Don't suppose you kept a copy. They were classified. I never had a copy. The only reason I even saw them was because the Defense Department valued my opinion. Seraph Industries did good work back in the day. When we signed a schematic, you knew it was solid. It is a shame that Seraph Industries got taken down. They seemed, at least in comparison to everybody else we've encountered, pretty decent. At least Seraph himself seems decent. I've got to find this guy. Adam, let me track him down for you. I'm leaving for London soon, but I can make phone calls, reach out to people. Seraph Industries may be gone, but my name still carries weight in certain circles. Do it. Contact me by info link when you have something. I won't let you down on this. I never felt right about losing touch with you after Panchea. When I heard you'd shown up in Detroit alive a year after everyone thought you were dead, why didn't you get in touch with us? I couldn't. Rescue crews pulled me out of the ocean and dumped me in a clinic in Alaska. Nobody knew who I was. For a long time, neither did I. My god, son, you don't think... I mean, that could have been when 
Find Orlov, Seraph. I've got questions I need answered. I will, I promise. I'll call you. Well, I mean, that went over pretty well. Thanks, Seraph. I think Seraph is a super trustworthy guy. He was in the last game. I mean, you know, we did hide a couple of things. <laughs> it wasn't very good of him. But just standard stuff. I can't remember exactly what because it's been four years, but he was on the ball for a lot of things. All right. Well, now that we've talked to Seraph, there are a couple other things I have to do in my apartment complex. I don't remember exactly which missions those were. Let's see. Uh, This guy is just outside of my apartment complex. I thought there were like a drug, like a drug operation going on in this area. Two floors down from my apartment, so that would make it this one. In this room. In the room where I knocked everybody out already. Whoops. Well, now we know what this is about. Y yeah. Look, I'm sorry for ruining your drug operations here. It, it just kind of worked out that way. Will my city expect politeness? You were lucky I didn't spin you in the face. Yeah. Yeah, I'm really lucky. Because then I don't have to worry about wiping blood off of my fucking robot arms. How dare you? How dare you? Oh. Ow! Ow! That took off the majority of my health! That's fucking ridiculous! Apparently I need to get myself the Icarus upgrade at some point, but we're good for now. I want to talk with this permit guy. You need to see Drachemir first. I don't handle new customers. What the f- I did! I met him and he brought me to you! You looking for permit? This area is restricted to you, Og. Oh. Get out of here, oh, okay. I was hoping he was gonna talk to me. I was stopped by someone named Drahomir at a checkpoint. He sent me here. Apparently you help Og with documentation, upgrade their permits. You have the money. Maybe. You wanna tell me what I'm paying for exactly? You pay to get your name on the list. Melina upstairs, she works on your shiny new permit. You come back in one week to pick it up. One week? Standard pickup fee will apply. How much do you charge people for this? Not people. Augs. 35,000 credits. What? Wow, even Jensen was like, the fuck? <laughs> Your buddy said this was on the house. <laughs> That's not gonna work. You're not even trying, are you? You just blatantly scam Augs out of as much as you can. You want updated permit or not? Documents are actually pretty good. You'll see. Trust me, the girl is very talented. These documents, what are they? Stolen? Forged? Invisible? Look, just give me what you have, and I'll put your name on the list. That's how it works. Melina does surprisingly good work, puts more effort in than we ask her to. Insult, pay 35. So what kind of a shiny new permit does that give me? No, I'm good. Yeah, I like, I like the idea of sneaking around. I think I've heard all I need to about your offer and about your friend upstairs. I'm gonna try my chances with other papers for now. Suit yourself. Only a matter of time before they come knocking at night. Yeah, well, you know, I work for Task Force 29. They're not gonna knock on my door. And if they do, well, they're gonna get in shitty you trouble. You to keep doing that. What, jumping up in the air at will? Huh. I'll do what I want. Hello. Is this the way into the other area? I'm just seeing if he has anything. Oh, hello. There are credit chips right underneath the microwave or the refrigerator. Well, wow. right, what do we got here? 
Per aspera ad astra, or simply ad astra, means through hardships to the stars. We are a community-minded support group established in 2028 by American expatriate Royal Crosby. Our goal is to rebuild the community of man by helping the augmented reintegrate into our neighborhoods. Our belief is that through compassion, understanding, and respect, we will find harmony between the augmented and the naturals. Ooh. I like that. I like that. Okay. The naturals. You fucking normies. <laughs> when the peaceful ways that we have been preaching are met with violence. When innocent people are beaten, chained, and treated as though they are less than human. When ordinary citizens scorn and spit on the augmented. When all these things happen, we have no choice but to push back. But when we push back, it is with kindness and compassion. With acts, not action. Yeah, about that. Um... I definitely, I definitely do action, but it's for the better of the people, generally. Mostly myself. Hello. Condolences. Franca, I heard about Thomas. I don't know what to say except that I'm so sorry. When I heard about the bombing, I never imagined anything like this. I suppose no one ever thinks that someone close to them will be caught up in one of these attacks. Is there anything I can do? We can come into town and take care of little Pieter. Wait, hold up, is this- is this gonna be about that kid, little Peter, or maybe that's somebody else? You've won! We are pleased to inform you of the result of the lottery winner's international programs. Your email address attached to the ticket number, the, 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 the with zero number, drew lucky numbers 3, 6, 4, 11, 44, 65, which consequently won in the secondary care or second category. You have therefore been approved by it for a lump sum pay of 175,000 credits! Congratulations! Due to the mix-up of some numbers and names, we ask that you keep your winning information very confidential until your claim has been processed and your prize money remitted to you. This is part of our security pro protocol to avoid doubling, uh, double claiming and unwarranted abuse of this program by some participants. All participants were selected through a computer ballot system drawn from over 200, or 200 million company and 300 million individual email addresses and names from all over the world. This promotional program takes place annually. Annually, we hope with part of your winning you will take part in our next CRD 100 million international lottery. To file for your claim, please contact your fiduciary agent, Mr. Bob Smith. I don't know if that's a... Uh, a scam or not. You might as well email them and see if you want 170... 175,000 credits. So that's it, there's nothing really else in here except for these crafting parts? Okay. I mean, I can go from here to the little ledge, so that works out for us. And no one will notice me sneaking over like this! You say something? I didn't think so. Okay, let's go. It's a shame I don't have Silent Step anymore. <laughs> He's fucking opening the door. Over there. Get over there. Shh. Guys, 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 guys. Don't worry about anything. I don't know where I'm going exactly. They said upstairs, which means I should be able to get through here, but this is definitely not an enterable door. So that means I actually have to go and knock out the people below us. Which is not very good for us. Alright, I don't want to use my Trank ammo on them, because that'd be bad. Oh, I didn't leave some of this shit behind. Crap. I could have left some of this stuff behind in my apartment, so my inventory doesn't just fill to the absolute brim. But oh well. Point is, I don't want to use my ammo on these guys, because I only have like seven shots. And I really want to keep those seven shots for a... A more serious situation. So I'll drop down. <laughs> and then punch a guy in the back. Ooh! Oh. Be 
up. Give it a little time to set. Fucking lasers. There's nothing useless. <sighs> Jesus. Go. <laughs> no, I fucked up. Fine, God. To save myself effort, I will knock out one of these guys with a trank dart. Oh wow, my save was all the way back here. Oh. Yeah, fuck it, man. Just both of them. I don't want to deal with their bullshit. With them always constantly turning around at just the right moment. Bunch of dicks, honestly. Alright. We got a punchable wall here. With a vent behind it. Yay! Maybe I can hack my way in. Fuck. Fuck! I need more Praxis kits! That's like the second or third wall that we've ran into that I would love to punch open, but I can't. Actually, wait! I only need one! Oh! Happy days! Punch! Ha ha! Alright, what do we got here? Oh, great, a lot. Oh, fucking! Security rating four? Wow. Do I have a ton of crafting materials? I could make one. Of these and not be super worried. I can also make another one. Also, I can craft ammo for all those upgraded AUG things. For 75 parts, I can create eight bullets for either the Tesla or Nano Blades. Neither of which I'm not actually particularly interested in. Alright. I am gonna try this out. Because I want to see if this is gonna be any use. What is inside of this terminal? Oh, this is taking a while. There. What do we got? Oh, I have to fucking... <laughs> I gotta go here first. What do we got? Frag grenades. And... Ooh! A thousand bucks, pretty much. I'll take that. Yeah, no, that's worth it. Also, lol, what? I love games. <laughs> I fucking love video games. Damn it, stupid cardboard box. Alright, so we got ourselves a secret entrance into the facility. Right? Yeah, yeah, okay. Oh shit! If you guys want me to work, you need to give me some breathing room. <laughs> I didn't see her in here. That completely caught me off guard. If you guys want, I hope you're not that broad, because you don't look at all like the picture. You want to tell me what's going on here? Arts and crafts. <laughs> I think you work for those scam artists out there, or do they work for you? It was never meant to be a scam. More like. Social services for the disaffected. You know, like no AUG left behind. Looks like a forgery ring to me. I hate the word forgery. I prefer graphic arts activism. I, I help people to, to be other people. And seriously, try getting anywhere with forgery on your resume. You're involved in something that takes advantage of people, and you're worried about your resume? That, that may have come out wrong. I mean, yes, career is important, but it's not everything. I know that. I, t I tend to get really nervous when I'm stressed. I, I mean, I, I'm stressed when... Which always just makes things worse. Oh, okay, look. I have no reason to be nervous here, do I? You're totally on my side, right? One of the good guys. Not like Drahomir. That depends on what you mean. Let's see. I'm not here to make you nervous. Uh, yeah. I'm a nice guy. You'll be lucky not to go to jail. That's mean to say. I don't know her part just yet. I'm not here to make you nervous. I just need you to explain it to me. The essentials of what's been going on here. Essentials. Right. Essentially, I was trying to help my augmented friends. 
The way I saw it out there, the promise of fake documents was being used to extort people. How does that help them? The extortion part sucks. I swear to you, I'm totally anti-extortion. Obviously. Let me explain better. The government, they print up these official permits each month. But they only sell them to the rich corporate and military allies. Meanwhile, the other orgs, they get kettled out of the city because their documents aren't up to date enough. That's what was happening to my friends. So, you then started making documents for them and then make people were like, oh, hey, we can make money off of that. Government corruption versus organized crime. And regular people get caught in the middle. You gotta love the classics. When it was just me, I didn't charge anyone. But then Drahomir shows up and turns it into this big operation with fake checkpoints and ridiculous fees. I didn't want anything to do with that. I wanted to stop. Why didn't you? I was scared. Drahumir said he would kill me. Looked at me kind of... Like you're looking at me now. You're not going to kill me, are you? What do you think? I'm not sure yet. Look, the real problem is Drahomir and that checkpoint of his. Without him in the picture, the rest of them couldn't run a lemonade stand. Maybe you could... You know... You think I just walk around shooting people? <laughs> I do. Don't you? <laughs> I like knowing there are other options. Okay, so stab him, scare him, or get the police to do their job for once. I remember Drahumir mentioning this cop who threatened him. She was hanging around his checkpoint. Who knows? Maybe there really is one good cop in Prague. Okay. That sounds like the safest bet. Otherwise, you're asking me to pick a fight with a bunch of guys in uniforms, scam artists or not. The whole city would come down on you. Still, up to you how you want to handle it. Right. And just so we're clear, you are going to stop forging documents now. I don't like getting into trouble. And even worse is other people suffering because of me. No more faking documents ever again. Unless someone really, really needed one. Then I'd probably do it. <laughs> I love I mean, Jensen's reaction. That we could help someone. We should do whatever we can, right? Uh, okay. It depends on what you have in mind. They think it's time for you to get away from that forging equipment. I personally am not against her faking documents to help out the Ogs because the Ogs have been in a really shitty situation that's been forced upon them. I just don't like that they're being extorted for 35,000 credits. I don't know the going rates for credits versus like, say, real dollars, but the fact that Jensen reacted <laughs> to the, 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 the price in such a dramatic way, I think shows it's a lot. It depends what you have in mind. The docs I make, they really can fool the authorities. Sort of. Sort of. Drachomir flooded the streets with forgeries. So the city started tracking more, adding scanners, validation numbers. Now, unless one of my permits gets activated in the city database, it's just plastic. So you're telling me these people pay for forgeries and then probably get deported anyway? It doesn't have to be that way. I have two permits that I literally just made. And I think we can really help these people. If you're willing. Ah, <sighs> I wanna help. Alright, how do we help? Their names are Edward Broad and Irenka Bauer. Drahomir was going to charge them like 20 more times. But maybe you could just give them the forgeries? Early Christmas present? You said it's just plastic that people get deported anyway. How does this help them? I think I know how to get them activated. As long as you're willing to follow through. Alright. I'll go meet Edward and Irenka. In the meantime, are you going to be okay here? Once they learn that Drahomir's been taken care of, the others will leave me alone. He's the one I'm scared of. By the way, there is a safe over there where they keep their money. I'll give you the code. 2489. Feel free to help yourself. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me! What about you? Way ahead of you. I just got the code for the fucking thing I used my hack tool on! Oh! Oh, man! I don't know how to feel about that. 
I know that I feel gypped. I feel ripped off. I feel annoyed, but I'll I'll keep that because I didn't know that and we'll keep that cannon even though I totally could come in, redo everything and not have to worry. Wow, man. All right. That's really funny. That's really funny. I'll read that in a sec. I just want to scan this place a little bit more. Story item. Uh, Renka Bauer's Permit. A forgery that allows Renka Bauer to keep them from getting deported. Assuming the number gets activated in the city's AUG Permit Registry. And what about the next one? Broads Permit. Actually, are they both? No, they're not. I don't think they're related. Okay. There's like a full system in here, man. It's pretty ridiculous. What looks like a lot of hazards and lasers and shit. Yeah, not fun. All right, let me read through this. Ooh, got myself some pistol ammo, EMP pistol ammo rather. That's good. All right, what do we got here? A city designed for you. We are the most technologically advanced generation in history. At an individual level, we have successfully integrated the best of this new technology into our bodies and into our lives. At a communal level, however, many of us feel out of place in our surroundings. The cities we inhabit are, at best, repositories of old architecture and old prejudice that no longer match our potential or our needs. At worst, they feel openly hostile to what we, be we have become. Augmented citizens across the globe recognize the need for a new kind of city. Uh, Rabia. We need a new capital of progress that isn't held back by outdated design models and cynical political institutions. We need a place like Rabia, an accessible, progressive, eco-friendly metropolis shining like a beacon in the plains of Oman. It may sound like a utopic fantasy, but Rabia is not a city born of dreams. Rabia has been conceived and constructed by the Santo Group out of necessity. It is a place our generation needs. It is a city designed for you. Crap, how do I open this door? I can just go through the vent, but I wanted to see if I could get through there. Please, none of us are safe for as long as Drahomir is out there. Oh, hey, I can ask, ask information about them. What do I need to know to take down Drahomir? He and his fake police checkpoint are beyond the archway, just down the street from here. So I'm supposed to start a fight in the middle of my own neighborhood? With guys who look like cops. Better if the real police don't see you. Though there may be a safer way. Drahomir said there is this one female cop who suspects him. And who might actually have the courage to do something. Find her. Tell her the truth. And who knows. <laughs> I like how she told me all that stuff like I didn't hear just like five seconds ago. But thank you for the reminder. What about Edward and Irinka? How many times did Drahimir charge Edward and Irenka already? I don't know the exact numbers. Many times, that is for sure. People like Edward and Irenka, they are willing to keep paying. And people like Drahomir, they know this. They're not desperate to stay in Prague. Desperate to stay out of Golem. Edward, I think he has family here. And Irenka, she... She thinks she's someone else. Some kind of... A robot. What? Anyway, Drachomir took advantage of this. Kept charging both versions of her until there was nothing left. <laughs> I want to meet this Arenka. I'm going to do what I can. You just be careful. Oh my god. She thinks she's a robot. She has two personalities involving this shit. Oh, I am so absolutely intrigued and thrilled by the idea of running into this person. Not so intrigued by having to go through the vent every time I want to come in here. So there gotta be like a button or a way to power this on. Can I go through this? I don't think no. It looked like a openable window at first. Uh, 